Um, I wanted to talk about your question. Um, so I, I apologize for making it video, um, but it's easier than typing everything out. So I looked, can we search for things in the abstract of um, the catalog? I don't think so. Um, so I took a look. So you can go in material type language, blah, blah, blah. Um, but the one thing is field and certain fields are exposed and certain are not. So there's probably a lot of fields that we could go into. And maybe there's like a, um, like a secret code that you could put in um, to search for it. But the problem we've got with catalog is it's looking at articles, but also books and also DVDs and also journals. And it gets so messy that um, it, it's beyond probably um, the ability of the catalog because of the, the scope of, of materials that it looks at. Also, having said that, when you're doing a search, especially in, in a, a specific disciplinary context, the catalog is not reliable because there's stuff being added or taken away depending on licensing all the time. So if you go through a specific database, and I wanted to show you in case this helps expand your search, I have a list. So we have all the databases here, but I have a list of databases under a guide and social work. This is why I made the video, so you could follow this, because I'm clicking like mad. If you go to PhD and master's help, excuse me, I have a list of databases. So validating keywords, that's just starting out, but when you get into specific research, um, for social work, um, psych info, people adore, uh, but all of these databases, this one's great for public policy. This one's good for like looking in general. If I had my top three, um, this one's good. This one's good. <laughs> you get the idea. But all of these have a specific list of databases and it's very much more constant and reliable um, than um, the library catalog. Li think of the library catalog as kind of like a, um, kind of an odd lot of things. And you know, our books are gonna be in there all the time, but articles and things like that depends. But in each of these databases, especially um, the discipline specific ones, they it's very, very consistent, very, very regular. And so when you search in the abstract of these and then give that recipe to somebody else, say you're doing like an annotated bibliography or a systematic review, then it's gonna be the same thing every time, if that makes sense. Um, let me know if, uh, if I can help more. I'd, I'd love to help you uh, track down more things.